Good morning, it is day 115. Uh, yesterday is another good day. Um, I took it a lot easier with my pace, just cruised along. Um, had an uh, yeah, unfortunate incident first thing in the morning. Uh, you have to read my blog to get the details on that one. Uh, and um, the water sources were a lot more limited. Um, and had to go a little bit off trail to get them. I had frustrations with my water filter. So, uh, yeah, the, the water took a, a lot of time yesterday. Um, but I was sitting down while I was doing it, so I was resting each time I was filtering. Um, yeah, saw a few people on the trail. <laughs> bull and bull rider, they were the best. <laughs> uh, section rider. Bull's a, a teacher and Bull rider, a little white dog. That was quite cute. Um, so the guys, they crossed uh, past my tent in the morning. Um, I caught them at the middle water source as they were having a, a long break and they caught me just before the last one. Um, but uh, they had a break so I took off and then they passed me again. Went a little longer than I was going to just because the terrain wasn't suitable for camping but ended up finding a nice, well, a, a decent spot um, right beside a dirt road uh, and then the guys turned up, they'd wandered down the road trying to find a better spot um, and yeah then we had one more turn up um, so yeah four of us and the deer that circled around and around crunching and crashing through the undergrowth it's so noisy um yeah this morning everyone's cleared out by the time i got up um, i heard them talking last night about uh whether they were gonna go all the way to the road which is uh 39 miles or if they're gonna do a more reasonable uh 24 and 16 um and uh, yeah one wanted to do a really long day and one didn't so uh, it's just funny listening the compromises you have to make when you're hiking with someone else for me um i think just naturally it's gonna work out that whatever i do today means Tomorrow I'll be getting in at uh, mid-afternoon um, unless I have a super short day today. Um, yeah, to the road and then hitch into uh, Dunsmere or Mount Shasta. Not sure yet. Uh, so today, once again, nothing in particular. Um, from the start of the day to the end of the day, it's, it's overall downhill, but there's quite a few ups and downs. Um, water seems a little more plentiful, I think sort of every three or four miles as opposed to every uh, five miles. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, this morning my energy levels are pretty good, but my knees are a little achy today, which is a bit weird. I am going downhill, but uh, yeah, maybe I just need to warm up a little bit. Um, I'm just a little concerned about that. Um, I went to, uh, just as I was getting into my tent, my left knee gave a bit of a, a tweak. Um, so I hope it's, I was hoping it settled down from that funny thing that I had yesterday. But uh, I guess I'll see. Hello. There is a sign, the normal PCT sign. But very clearly blocked off an arrow and trail detour. Hmm, wonder if something happened to the track. Okay, I will follow the detour. That was a very quick detour. I suspect the track washed away at uh, where that creek went down. Um, all right. <laughs> Trails been nice, but there are still a few uh, sections that are very slightly overgrown. Not too bad. This is a beautiful part of trail. I'm um, 
going along the side of this quite steep hill um, just above the creek which is down there um, slowly dropping but uh, yeah absolutely lovely trail after yesterday which was pretty rough in a lot of places and overgrown in places <laughs> you get back onto a luxury like this it's lovely there's my first bear sighting I heard it coming down the hill I thought it was a deer but actually it is a bear yes my first bear sighting it's seen me so uh, oh it's got babies so I'm just gonna stay very still it knows I'm here oh wow look at the little baby oh wow So cool. It's smaller than I was expecting. I'm just going to let it get further ahead so it doesn't have to worry about me. So that brings my tallies to 22 deer, 11 rattlesnakes, 11 other types of snakes, and two bear. Millions of chipmunks and tens of or well, hundreds of squirrels <laughs> oh yeah as you can tell I'm pretty excited I, I really wanted to see a bear in the wild and I have funny enough it wasn't scary at all people are, go on and on about the bears but I mean my thing is like all wildlife give it space <laughs> give it room to make its decisions on what it wants to do don't hassle it and generally it will ignore you and leave you alone so if you follow those rules um, then you're fine maybe that's just my naivety of a New Zealander because we have zero predators um, to worry about um, I mean the only exception I would imagine is the food and that's why I am being very careful with hanging my food um, and that's more um, it's not so much I'm worried a bear is going to attack me for the food it's more I'm worried the bear will get into the food and learn that humans equal food and become a pest and be put down so uh, it's for the good of the bears that uh, I'm very good about making sure I hang my food and uh, shortly and uh, two resupplies away I'll be picking up my ursac so I don't have to do this horrible bear bag hanging ritual every night if I had been listening to music like many of the hikers do I would have completely missed that sighting because I would have just stayed there stretching instead of walking forward to investigate <laughs> lovely having all of these streams after yesterday's dry stretch oh look at these those are huge <laughs> there's the scale Woo. ah it's a slightly bigger stream yeah lovely and I'm going up there and then continuing around <laughs> I love these eagerly looking forward to trying this one coconut cream pie and yeah it's pretty good um, it tastes like a lemington um, date, sun sweetened coconut, almonds, cashews, extra virgin coconut oil um, yeah that's nice gonna get that one again a rocky area now different types of trees and uh, it's opened up, I can see a little bit, I can see across the valley. That's a really steep, steep valley um, that I'm dropping down at the moment. Um, yeah, my left knee is, <laughs> um, yeah, just feeling weird. Um, I've been stopping to stretch every now and again, but it's still just feeling weird. It's not hurting, but uh, the fact that I'm noticing the knee means uh, something's not quite right so I've just dropped the pace down a little bit um, it has been steady downhill oh, and stumbling like that doesn't help um, it has been steady downhill so maybe when I flatten out or go up it'll get better oh, 
Oh, different trees. This is nice. Oh, a little uphill as well. So just come around um, the ridge line. Now coming down a different valley. <laughs> um, so I follow the trail all the way down to nearly the end of the valley. Um, and then I'm going to be coming back along here. <laughs> all the way around and around there. So it's a long up and down this valley. There's quite a few streams in this area, which is nice. Uh, I'll wait till I'm on the other side of the valley and then uh, fill up. Ooh, what is this? <laughs> Cool. Oh, it's these ones. Yeah, it's another pretty river, stream, creek. <laughs> I'd call it a stream. So uh, this is the head of the valley. Now I follow along uh, the side of this hill until get to the end of it and then turn right and that'll put me opposite <laughs> Where I started down this valley. Big dog leg. My left knee is feeling much better now, but now my right knee is sore. <laughs> um, on the inside, very uh, top, so uh, almost like it's not just about the muscle um, above the knee, but uh, yeah, so like always, I just stop and stretch a lot. My legs aren't very tight, um, and I think that's from my uh, little speed morning to get whoa, from my speed morning to get to uh, Bernie Falls. So um, <laughs> yeah, they just need to loosen up my legs a bit. It's like a big road. Lots of extension hikers. <laughs> 2018 some of the road closed. Doesn't matter because I'm not getting a shuttle. Big wide open area. Ooh, a hiker. That river is a bit bigger than what I've been seeing. And uh, hiker, judging by the uh, short response, wasn't interested in chatting, <laughs> which is fine. So I have no idea if he's going north or south. Must be a little campground. Looks like toilets. I can smell them from here. It's an issue when I can smell them from that distance. Ooh. Ooh, looks like a bridge ahead. What's this say? Fire use area leaving designated. What? Oh, leaving designated fire use area. Gotcha. <laughs> I'm gonna get a bridge over this big river. That's nice. <laughs> Three. Bikers must have gone for a swim or a break. <laughs> that snake crossed the track in front of me. So basically, as I was stepping, it went in between my feet. Beautiful looking snake. It's tiny. It's uh, maybe 30 centimeters long. <laughs> Lovely patterns on it. Ooh, it's 
cooling up, ready to strike. It's scented something. Pretty sure it's not me, I'm too far away. Uh, fawn. I'm imagining that was a mountain lion. Got that one? Still haven't seen a mountain lion. That's next on my list. Hopefully it'll be a nice encounter like the bear from a good distance. Close enough to see it clearly but not close enough to be annoying it. I've been lucky most of the morning. I've been in the shade deep in the valley but uh, now I'm starting to get into the open a bit. And um, I'm going to be climbing, uh, not quite to the ridge line, but uh, going along and steadily climbing up near the ridge. Um, so it's going to be pretty hot. Nice to be back in the shade for a little bit. Ooh, it's starting to get hot and it's going to be hot when I start climbing the hill. I've just filled up my water and had lunch. Um, that's the last water, I think, for eight or nine miles. So, um, and uh, a lot of that eight or nine miles is going to be uphill. Um, so, up I go. Lots of blackberries on both sides of the track. That'll be nice later in the season when they have some berries. Pretty hard to make out, but I think that's a vole. A dead vole, unfortunately. It's actually a, there's a big cloud over the sun, which is quite lovely. When I come into these open bits, definitely keeping the temperature way down. I've noticed for the last few days in the afternoon around Mount Shasta, um, clouds appear. So I think I'm become we, I'm just about into the Mount Shasta uh, cloud cover, which is going to be good. Not sure if the camera shows just how many little flying insects are buzzing around in front of my face. <laughs> Mainly in front of my glasses. But, uh, oh, there's so many of them. Uh, the frustrating thing is, I can't see what they are because they're too close. <laughs> um, yeah, the, the focus is too close. So uh, they're just these black dots in front of me. A couple of them are making a, a slight buzzing noise, but um, uh, most of them are just silent. I don't mind if they buzz in front of me, but they keep trying to get in behind my glasses. And that's where I have a problem. <laughs> oh. My trail's uh, gone up the hill and joined what looks like an old vehicle track. So it's quite a flattish part to walk on now. So that was a lovely couple from Seattle. Uh, around my age. I was like, wow! <laughs> I just said, I think yesterday or the day before, it's been all the young bucks on the trail. Nice to see some more older ones. Um, they have section hiked their way from the border down to here over the last three years. Uh, this time they're heading to Echo Lake. So, uh, wow, amazing determination to be able to keep coming back every time. 
get your trail fitness every time find space in your life to uh, to come on trail just amazing determination all of us section hikers my hats off to them we've definitely got a, a lot easier I think this is the top of the climb this looks very much like a saddle and it looks very much like I'm heading down the other side woohoo wasn't too bad actually whoops I think some bird made it some timely end there hmm <laughs> here's the first creek in quite a while but uh i still got plenty of water, so I am going to push on to the next creek, which is in three miles. Almost straight trail. Not often you can see so far ahead of you in the forest like this. But you can see just how beautiful this trail is at the moment. Such lovely, easy walking really weird thing about these little flies that are hovering around in front of my face um the noisy one is the one that keeps trying to get um i'm not sure if it's under my glasses but only ever on one side uh, i'm not sure if that's because we're walking along the hill and that's the exposed side but really weird um they come and go, sometimes they'll just disappear and then, you know, maybe 20-30 minutes then all of a sudden there'll be five or six of them there. Um, thankfully most of them are the quiet ones. Um, I don't mind them. It's the annoying buzzy one that uh, I, I don't like and that's the one that keeps on trying to get, uh, well, touch my face on the left side. And the other funny thing is, even if I've got a big cloud of them in front of me when I'm walking, if I sit down and take a break, or go off and go to the toilet, they actually disappear. Um, so I'm not quite sure what they're after. <laughs> not complaining that, that they disappear, because um, it means all the little rest stops I've been having um, have been very peaceful, which have been lovely. Yeah, it's a cute little bridge down there. <laughs> this is the bridge over Squaw Valley Creek. Very pretty. Fast flowing, glad there's a bridge. And it gets a bit calmer that side. Alright, so somehow I need to get down to the river to get some water. <laughs> There's meant to be a couple of trails a little further along. Interstate 5. So I go that way. There you go, I guess this is one of the trails. <laughs> so this is the river I've just dropped down to. Um, trail was actually quite good. And now I am filtering the water. Long, long process. Back up the little path and back on the main trail. Um, I grabbed a full load because that's the last water for nine and a half miles. Um, plus, I'll be camping soon. Um, right. So yeah, there's um, there's a campsite and two miles, 2.8 miles, and then four point something miles. Uh, I'll just see how I'm feeling and what time I get there. Um, it's 10 past 5 now, so still another 20 minutes till the distance reveal. And to all of those campsites, it's uphill. Uphill all the way from here for, I'm not sure how many miles, I think it's about 5 miles. This is just such beautiful vivid green along here. and. Because the sun is hidden behind the clouds, it actually shows up on the camera a lot better than normal. Um, yeah, absolutely beautiful along here. Oh, it is uphill, hence the puffing. Oh, here you go. 
green tunnel. Lovely. <laughs> Coming out onto the road. I've got a helpful arrow telling me this way. <laughs> and another. And another. And one more. And I see the trail marker now. There's a helpful arrows. And it's a trail. Just up there. No, it's not. That's just a trail marker with an arrow. So I'm assuming this way. <laughs> the arrow's broken. Yes, that's the one. So I'll fix the arrow. Help the next people. There we go. <laughs> and whoop. now there's a marker. <laughs> Is this the trail yet? No, it's not that one. It's up here. <laughs> wow. The official marking is not very helpful. Are we going up the road? <laughs> more arrows, more arrows. Okay, now it's not a road, it's a trail. And the CT. <laughs> Final arrow. <laughs> now we're on. Woohoo. Alright, the 5.30 distance reveal is 25.3. <laughs> um, wow, I thought I was going relatively easy today, but it has been absolutely beautiful trails most of the day, which is probably why it's a good distance. Um, so I'm heading for a campsite in 1.6 miles, and that'll be me for the day. That'll leave... What will that leave? Four, 13 or 14 miles um, tomorrow to get to the road. Right. Evening panorama. That's where I've come from. And woohoo! It's Manchester again. It's been a while since I've seen it. We've come around the side of it. Still got a bit more to go to get right round to the side of it. And uh, I am just coming around the hill and uh, the campsite is in the saddle.